<coughs> all right, all right. Shalom, shalom. Nice, beautiful day today. I'm out here plantation at my break. You know, trying to do this quick edification for you brothers and sisters. Um, this is uh, this is some Hebrew 101, basic Hebrew 101 through the spirit of Yahabat Shim Yahabashai. All right, for you brothers that are already in the know, you know, this, is a, uh, this could be a refreshment to you. And for you brothers that are new to the faith, you know, this could be uh, some edification. All right, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, <coughs> Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. We give all the glory and praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right? I want to give double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, shalom to all the sincere bishops and uh, elders of Great Millstone, to the, to the, to the uh, sincere, faithful house of David, uh, the hopeful elect, you know, through the Spirit. All you sincere women out there and you men that are sincere. This is only for the house of faith. All my videos, all my lessons, you know, they're only for the edification. They're only addressed to the house of faith because we know, we understand that there's, there's men and women that just come up on the lessons just for entertainment, just to scoff, just to mock, you know? This ain't for you. This is not for you. This is only for those sincere brothers and sisters, the house of mourning, those that believe the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So, all right, let's start with this right here. Now, what you see right here is a book. It's called Early Spanish Manuscript Illumination. I was doing some research and um, I came across this information, this book. And um, it has a lot of powerful information. It has a lot of images showing the prophets showing our lord yahweh shai the angels being depicted as so-called black men black prophets our lord yahweh shai and i'm gonna go into google i actually google some images and i'm gonna show you brothers how this devil has deceived the whole world you know it's something called iconoclasm all right Iconoclasm. Let me go. All right, let me go and get the definition for that real quick. Iconoclasm. Definition. And it says the action of attacking or assertively rejecting cherished beliefs and institutions or established values and practices. The rejection or destruction of religious images, see, as her heretical, the doctrine of iconoclasts. So, you know, reflecting on the images, taking away the real images, the genuine images of the prophets. We go hundreds and hundreds of years ago. You also got a book called Russian Icon Icons. Even our apostles made lessons on it. Apostle Tahar went on, you know, he has lesson on that where he has the books himself. You know, those books, they they are worth a lot of money now. But um but um now they're like like this book is two hundred dollars. This is a two hundred dollar book, man. You know? They will hey, hey Half of us in Israel, we can't even afford to buy no book of two hundred dollars, man. You know, two hundred dollars—that's some some food, that's that's some grocery shopping, some gas for the week, you know, for a week and a half, you know. So you know, I Google. We could always Google. There's a lot of information on Google. You know, if you want to read a book and you can't afford, you can also download the PDF. You know, we got. Hey, listen, man, we got power in our hands, man. You know, we know Esau used technology on the on the on the left hand side, but we could also use this technology to benefit us. You know, all right through the spirit. 
of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. So, you know, through the spirit, I wanted to touch on this, you know. This is a $200 book. And there's a reason why this book is $200. Now, let, let's, let's do some, let's do some um, comparison real quick. We're going to go back to that, to this. Let's do Harry Potter book. This is my first time doing this. Let me see. Look at this. If you want a Harry Potter paperback box set books, all right? You want a, a awesome facts for Potter fans, the unofficial collection, the encyclopedia, secret knowledge. This is this is witchcraft. Everybody knows Harry Potter, that movie is witchcraft. They they uh they is a lot of is a lot of subliminal wicked left-hand side witchcraft messages that they portray and they play out in those movies harry potter and you can get a book on harry potter right here look 14 dollars and 76 cents brothers look at that you can get you a harry potter book for 14 bucks man Woo -wee! <laughs> but if you want to see if you want the truth if you want the truth right you want the truth brothers paperback early spanish manuscript illumination if you want the truth you want history based on truth to show you the real images of the prophets of our lord yahweh shai right you want the truth you gotta pay 200 dollars. paperback will cost you 100 and hardcover you know, I like hard covers. 200. Oh, there's only one left in stock. Order soon. You see how the devil is, brothers? You see how the so-called white man is? You see why we got... This is why... This is why in the kingdom, Edom is going to be the first fruits of slavery. The elites, those that control the world today. Because what they done here on this side. You know? How they covet... How they covet, how they uh, worship the God of Mammon, and they have the whole world under their feet, man. This is ridiculous paying prices like this. You know, we got to pay for this, for the truth, $200, man. You want the truth? It's going to cost you $200. You know, it's a lot. Let me get a little drink. I'm outside. It's beautiful, man. Another beautiful day. Call hello, y'all, by Shimmy outside. Beautiful, clear skies, man, right now in Jersey. Beautiful, clear skies, man. The sun is shining, you know. Get a sip of my water. All right, so lock it for that. Excuse me. So, if you want it, hey, you can afford $200, get you the book, man. But I me, no way. No, no, no. So I clicked on the images. Let's, let's look at some of these images. All right. Here we go. This is the cover of it. Look at this. That's your shy in the middle. And you got the two angels on the left and the right. You got the angels on the top. These are so-called black. Look, they're black. You got the cherubims and the seraphims in the bottom. You know? You see that? Okay. So-called black, man. All right, look at that. Let's see, look, let's watch another one. I seen another one where they had afros. Let me see if I can find that one real quick. Let me see, it's not that one. <clears throat> yeah, I seen one with them. Here we go, I think this is it. Look at this. These are the prophets. These are the disciples. Check it out. Afros, man. <laughs> Call on y'all by ship. Hey, one of them right there in the middle looked like my uh, like my my uncle and my grandfather in Puerto Rico. You know, rest in peace, my grandfather. He's in the spirit world, and he 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 looked like the so-called black man. You know, uh, through the spirit of y'all by Shimmy I was shy. But look look at these. These are the these are the uh, the prophets, the men of the Lord, the disciples. You know, let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. I think these were women over here on the side. All right. Look at that, man. Come on, man. 
Oh, Spain, Fas Camilla, Medievals. But even during the medieval times, these was so-called Jake, man. Look at this. These Jakes. These are Jakes, man. Come on, man. Are you serious? Jakes. All right. Here we go more. Spain. And during the medieval times. Remember, Scotland, Britain, uh, Poland, Ireland, Europe, Spain, Portugal, uh, 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 Europe. All of that area was ruled by Jake, Hebrews, man. King James, that's why King James, when you go into the history, he was called Swarthy. Swarthy. He was called the Swarthy Man because he Swarthy goes back to being black, brown, brown tone. Okay? These are our ancestors. They ruled. These are the Israelite Hebrews that ruled Europe during medieval times. All right, before they were conquered, this is like, you know, when the Renaissance came in, when you, when you read Revelation 20, you know, he was put down for a thousand years. And for a thousand years, they were ruled by so-called Jake. All right, Jake. Jake was ruling over uh, Esau. You know, Esau, Esau, um, hey, Esau didn't even know how to shave themselves or take a bath. You go into this history. They didn't even know how to wash their ass, man. And um, when you go into history, the Moors, which Moors just goes back to the word black, negro, negro. You know, the Moors were um, Muslims, but they were crypto Jews. What I mean about crypto Jews, they were hitting disciples of the Jew faith, being Hebrews. They knew they were Jews. They knew they were Israelites. They knew they were Hebrew Israelites. But during that time, you had what is called the religious wars. And um, Islam was rising as a uh, the next ruling religion power during that time. So they, they feared to be put to death. So they converted into uh, Islam. But they were crypto Jews, the Moors. You know, I mean, this is history. Do your history. So that area was ruled by Jake. Jake ruled Esau for a thousand years. Showed them how to take a bath, hygiene, brush their teeth, you know? Hey, hey, Jake was ruling, living like kings, man. They was being served by Edomites, women, you know? They had servants, slaves, you know? All right? You go into the history, Spain, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, Spain, uh, the cities, where uh, they had streets made out of concrete, the roads, they had light poles. And while they had these light poles and everything, man, you had certain areas where Esau was, was living, they were living in um, uh, muddy roads made out of mud. They didn't make streets at that time. They didn't really have no lights, you know? But, um, but Jake, man, Jake was ruling nice, all right? So this is why this book is $200, man, all right? Because it shows a lot of information and images of how our, our ancestors, Jake, Hebrews, were ruling, man. So after the thousand years, the, the rebirth of Esau came about based on prophecy, and that's when he started ruling for a season. He's still, he's still on his season, but he's at the end of his season. He's at the end of his season, man. All right, $200 for this book, man. But you could get a Harry Potter book for $14. And that's something, bro. This is 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law, which is the scriptures, the Bible, wherein the heathen, this is prophecy. I just show you. I just show you the images. This is prophecy. The book, $200. And these are images. This is what Esau done. And this was prophetic. This was prophesied by our ancestors. I lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. All right. This is prophecy that was written down, you know, thousands of years ago to be prophetically uh, fulfilled on this time that we're living in. We see it all over. We see it all over, uh, the image of, of, of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, depicted as a white man with blue eyes. Everybody knows about it, long hair, 
you know, looking like Michael Bolton. I mean, I'm 46 years old. I don't know you young brothers know about Michael Bolton. You know, it was a, uh, a singer. He had long hair, but on white guy. Supposed to be, he, was look, he looked white, but you know, he could sing. So you never know. You never know. It could be a J, who knows? Only the Lord knows at the end of the day. So we see this all over the planet Earth, you know? And this is, uh, hey, we're in the time of uh, Daniel 12, uh, knowledge shall be increased. You know, we're at that time that knowledge is being increased. Wickedness is being exposed because this man's kingdom, his rulership is at its end. That season is about to be over. All right, let's go to Job 9. Everybody know about this. That's why I said this is just going back to the basics for your new brothers, you know, and just a refreshment for uh, for you brothers that that are uh, that are in the know. You you understand this information already. Uh, this Job chapter 9 verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked and who's the wicked based on malachi chapter one and four it says esau edom is the border of wickedness all right he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he see and this is what he has done he covered the faces of the judges thereof man all right this is what he did he covered the faces of the judges man all right especially our lord this is yahweh shai right there in the middle and you got the angels in the left and the right hand side um when you go into the story of the scriptures uh when mary magdalene i think it was she went into the sepulcher to the uh, tomb where our lord yahweh shai was buried and she seen uh two angels one down by his feet and one above his head you know also goes into the Ark of the Covenant. When you go into the Ark of the Covenant, you had two cherubims on, on, on each side of the covenant, showing you that the Lord, he broke the he broke that wall of partition. You know, as the veil, the temple of the veil rent when he gave up the ghost, you know, because he fulfilled all prophecy. So those angels, that's what you see right here, represent that. That's that power. And this is our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. These devils, they, they have a they have a great penalty coming for them. They have a great, a heavy, harsh penalty. Harsh, they're gonna have harsh slavery because all the evil and blasphemy and the removing of our Lord and the angels and the heavenly father. You know, this is this is what's gonna happen. You know, now, you know, I, 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 hey, can't get, a, you, you're not going to escape your judgment, man. Okay. You're not going to escape your judgment. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to pay for all of this. It, it's something like this is a, this is blasphemy, man. This is, this is, you're going to pay greatly for this. You know, and the devils, they know that. The elites know that. That's why they're, they're doing what they can right now. Revelation 12 and 12, they're going to come down with great wrath. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, th this is the devil. He doesn't care about nothing. He's just going to do what he can do to live, to live out his wicked life these last days. And he's going to take a lot of lives with him. Look up Project Pogo. Look up Project uh, Zypher. Uh, Spell Z-Y-P-H-R. Uh, Project Zypher. All right? This man is ready to exterminate millions of Americans you know, through martial law, when the uh, karama is implemented, he's going to stir up problems. He's going to stir up uh, uh, the economy. You know, purposely, he's going to crash it. You know, the karama is going to be introduced. There's going to be a lot of havoc, food shortages, EMPs, blackouts. Jacob's trouble, brothers. And this is Project Zypher and Pogo. And this is in the scriptures. The Lord, the Lord has given us the insight. All right. He has given us prophecy to see and to watch. Call Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now I'm gonna see if I could go live for a few minutes before I go into uh, I, I go into a uh, back to plantation. But this is Hebrew 101 for you brothers. This book is called Early Spanish Manuscript Illumination. Shalom.